Hello everyone, this is Mr. Stamkos, and I am here recording the first video in a, quite a while, I'm going to say a few months. Um, COVID, you can see the COVID hair, but that's not what's important in this video. As you may have heard, Dan Hamus, a uh, 16-year NHL veteran, just retired out of the NHL after, again, 16 seasons in the league. Uh, he retired at 37 years old. Um, going on 38. He's born in 82, so he will be 38 by the end of this year. And I just wanted to um, do a quick debrief and review of Dan, Dan Hamuse's career, you know, not going year by year into his stats and stuff, just taking a look at a couple of his seasons, his rookie season and his best season, and then also taking a look at his career stats and um, my thoughts on him. So let's hop into this one. Um, Dan Hamuse was drafted in the first round, 12th overall in 2001, by the Nashville Predators, where he also finished out the last two seasons of his career um, in Nashville. And at this point in time, Nashville was a very young team, brand new to the league. In their first draft, they got David Lagwan fourth overall. I think this was their second year in 01, but um, yeah, um, they improved as their 12th overall. And they got Dan Hamuse, who was a very solid kind of two-way, shut-it-down type of defenseman who also didn't get a lot of penalties on the board each season. He wasn't the classic shutdown defenseman who got 100-plus penalty minutes a year. So he kind of... Um, um, it kind of intrigued a, a few scouts with that kind of aspect as well of his game. But, um, yeah, Dan Hamuse throughout his career played for three different teams, I think. He played for Nashville, he played for Vancouver, and he played for Dallas. I know those three for sure. I don't think he played anywhere else, though. Um... But yeah, so in his rookie season in 2002-2003, I believe, Dan Hamuse had 80 games played, 7 goals, 19 assists for 26 points, a minus 12 and 57 penalty minutes, and on a young up-and-coming Nashville team um, who wasn't very good, who didn't have any top legit players, I mean, David Lagwan was their best prospect at the time. Um, this was a very good season for Hamuse, I think, and especially for his first year getting 26 points as an old-school type defenseman like he was, back in the day, um, I think that's very impressive. So, yeah. Um, and he was on Nashville during that time, too. He's on Nashville for a few years, quite a few years, until he got traded to Vancouver. Um, his best year did come with Vancouver, though, where he had 82 uh, games played, 4 goals, 33 assists, 37 points. And this is actually a point behind his best offensive season, but just because of his defense numbers, this is why. Plus 29 and 46 penalty minutes. Um, plus 29, I know plus minus is a very overrated stat, but you're not just, you know, an okay defenseman and getting plus 29 in the league. That's impressive, I think, and then putting up almost 40 points alongside that and getting less than 50 penalty minutes as a defenseman, um, I think that's pretty good. And that came in 2011-12 with the Vancouver Canucks. Um, so yeah, and over Hamuse's career, he played 1,148 games, 59 goals, what a legend. Uh, 297 assists, and if you couldn't do the math, 356 points with a plus 72 and 684 penalty minutes. So, kind of seems more like a off an offenseman with um, hit a forward with his uh, 684 penalty minutes, but that is not the case. He's just a very disciplined and poised player on the ice. Um, so yeah, that's the brief brief overview of uh, Dan Ham Hamuse's stats, and now we're gonna get into my thoughts on Dan Dan Hamuse. <sighs> Confusing name to say sometimes, especially when you say it fifty times in a video. So, my opinions on Dan Hamuse are kind of split. I think back in like I don't know two thousand twelve, back in the time when he was in his prime with Vancouver, putting up good numbers. I want to say he was a little bit overrated. I remember hopping on to NHL 12. They had him like an 88 overall. Same with like NHL 15 or something. He was just an insane high overall. I'm not trying to bring video game standards into this. I'm just saying like, I think people thought a little bit more of Hamus than what he actually did on the ice. And I know he was a great defensive presence for the Vancouver Canucks. Their top shutdown kind of guy. Uh, power power playing. Um, quarterbacking that penalty kill. And also being a solid uh, power play option as well. Per, on that second line power play but like my opinion on him uses honestly like he's just a little bit overrated back in those kind of days he was good he wasn't an all-star though which means I don't think he deserved that kind of hype and again there's gonna be people that are mad with that opinion 
and I am going to admit, he was great. He was a great shutdown kind of defender. I just don't think he put up, you know, the numbers where he deserves that kind of, um, you know, the all-star tag. I think he was close to being an all-star, but not quite there. Um, but overall, um, I don't dislike Dan Hamuse. I actually like, he, he, I'm more in the like with him. Um, and, you know, there's nothing really bad for me to say about him use in his career. He was he did what he did. He got he did what he got drafted to do. Play really good defense and then put up 40 points a year. You know, um, I actually came to this video thinking Ham use had a little bit better offensive numbers, but um, 37 points is still solid, especially for back in the early 2010s and before that. Defensemen weren't huge point getters like they are now. But they still put up good numbers, like Nick Lidstrom with his 60s was considered pretty damn good back in the day. But, yeah, that is my um, overview of Dan Hamus and his career. And I love to do this type of thing for players who just retire um, out of the NHL. You know, big names like that. Um, so whenever I see a retired player, I just, you know... Um, like to do this brief little overview video on them and I've done it in the past and I'm doing it now and also trade videos I'm hoping for some good trades there's some hype about a Jake Allen trade going to uh, Detroit but they actually declined it which I'm shocked about Jake Allen Jimmy Howard I'd rather Jake Allen jo Jake Allen Jonathan Bernier I'd rather Jake Allen but uh, yeah this is Mr. Sam Coast thank you for watching um, this video um, I wish Dan Ham used the best of luck in his retirement. Hopefully it's not another Kobe Bryant situation. Um, and he actually gets to enjoy his retirement. But this is Mr. Stamkos, and I'll see you in the next one. But for now, bye.